gesture I can't respond to. Once I start the painting, I don't even think about what it's about. All I think about are composition and color, and it becomes a, an abstract puzzle. Like, how can I make this puzzle work? I was started making art when I was like three or four because my father made art. It was the only thing I was ever particularly good at and it was also, it gave me complete pleasure to go into my own little world of making uh, paintings and drawings. It's, it's um, all consuming and all absorbing and it never, it's not like, oh, this is fun. It's usually not fun, it's usually really difficult and similar when I've had people who play golf talk about playing golf that you're unhappy all the time because you, you, you're not achieving what you want to achieve which is in a way the unachievable. So I think it, in that way it's a meditation because you're always engaged in trying to make something work. I think I'm learning you know, at age 65 to trust the fact that there's going to be a lot of false starts and a lot of um, unsuccessful um, studies or whatever before I actually arrive at something that works. I wanted to do a painting of a surgeon, and I did probably five of them, and two out of the five I was happy with. You know, so there's a the success rate is about uh, maybe 50-50, 50 false starts, and then about 50 kind of works. The subject matter, once I get started, is of very little interest to me. It's just how can I make this thing work compositionally, you know, with color and shape. Does this shape balance that shape? Does this color how does it work with that color and how do you guide the viewer through the space is also I think about a lot. A lot of my art making is about a way to survive. I love doing it and I never feel like uh, I'm stuck doing something I don't want to do or having to paint something I don't particularly want to do, but I'm motivated very much by making a living. And I used to do very uh, loose figurative work and before that I did abstract work so yeah it's uh, it's gotten tighter I guess you could say and now I feel it's sort of like oh, starting to loosen up a little bit what is the difference between photographic reality and what is the difference between observed reality and now I'm like so only interested in observed reality I used to use photography heavily now I use it barely now it's all done from my I started first of all looking at Italian art and also um, using a more of a pure color and impressionist palette. I guess you could say that, it's sort of like any kind of growth. It wasn't like incremental, it was like kaboom. Over one summer, everything changed. I'm sure that'll happen again. There'll be some explosion that changes everything.